what we're going to use to solve this problem is we're going to use the method of Lagrange multipliers. Okay, but let's uh, let's read through the problem here. An open top rectangular box is being constructed to hold a volume of 150 cubic inches. The base of the box is made from a material costing five cents per square inch. The front of the box must be decorated and will cost nine cents per square inch. Okay, it's a fancy box. Uh, the remainder of the sides will cost two cents per square inch. Find the dimensions that will minimize the cost of constructing this box. So let's draw a picture of our box. Okay, let's just make sure I did this right. Um, open top, so I'm leaving the top off. That's how I drew it. Um, okay, good. So let's say this is the front of the box over here. Because that makes a difference because it costs differently than the other sides. And uh, let's label the sides of our box. So let's call this X, let's call this Y, and let's call this dimension Z. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to minimize, it says minimize the cost. Okay, so let's write down what the cost is. Now the cost is going to depend on the size of the box, so it's going to depend on X, Y, and Z. Well, let's read what we have here. It says that the base of the box costs 5 cents per square inch. Well, the area of the base is X, Y. So it's going to be 5XY. That's going to be the cost of the base. The front of the box um, is the decorated, the pretty side, and will cost 9 cents per square inch. So the area of the front is XZ. So it's going to be plus 9XZ. And the, um, The remainder of the sides will cost two cents per square inch. Okay, well, um, these two sides over here uh, have area y times z. So that, there's two of them, so that's two y z. And I'm multiplying that by two cents per square inch. So it's two times two y z. And then we have the back of the box also costs two cents per square inch, and it has dimensions XZ. So it's gonna be two XZ. Okay, so this is the cost function for our box. Let's simplify this. I think we can simplify it a little bit. Uh, I got an XY here, nothing to combine that with, no like terms. I do have like terms here, nine XZ and two XZ, so that's 11xz and then uh, plus 4yz. That's the cost function. Now we're minimizing this cost subject to a constraint, right? What's the constraint? Well, the constraint was that the box has to hold a volume of 150 cubic inches. So let's write that down as an equation. Well, let's write down a, a function for the volume and then we'll make an equation out of that. Okay, so the volume depends on x, y, and z. And um, the volume of a box is uh, length times width times height, so it's just x, y, z. And we're told that it's equal to 150 cubic inches. So here's our equation over here. This is the constraint equation. So we're minimizing this, we're minimizing uh, C subject to the constraint given by this equation over here. And whenever you're doing this, this um, means that you can use Lagrange multipliers to solve the problem. And so the method of Lagrange multipliers, excuse me, I'm running into some things on my desk here. Um, Lagrange mul multipliers. The method of Lagrange multipliers says you 
want the the, the 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 cost function or whatever function you're minimizing or maximizing will be minimized or maximized when its gradient is parallel to the gradient of the constraint function. In other words, the gradient of this function is a scalar multiple of the gradient of the constraint function. So the gradient of C is a scalar multiple of the gradient of V. That's Lagrange multipliers. This K is the Lagrange multiplier. It's the scalar multiple that's representing the fact that this vector is parallel to that vector. Okay. So let's write this down. Well, we have to compute the gradient of C. Well, the gradient of C, um, well, it's the x derivative, comma, the y derivative, comma, the, the z derivative. So gradient of C, the x derivative is 5y plus 11z. The y derivative is 5x plus 4z. And the z derivative is 11x plus 4y. That's the gradient of C. We also have to compute the gradient of V, all right? So let's do that. Uh, it's the x derivative of this is just yz. The y derivative is xz. And the z derivative is xy. Okay, so the, um, well, this thing over here becomes a system of equations. Let's write these down right here. Okay. So I'm going to set the first component of C equal to K times the first component of V. So I'm going to get 5Y plus 11Z equals K times YZ. And then the second components do the same thing. 5x plus 4z equals kxz. And then the third components, 11x plus 4y equals kxy. And we have a fourth equation here, actually. It doesn't come from this. It actually comes from right here. We haven't used this yet. The constraint equation is always added as one of the equations in this system. Okay, so I'm going to put this down here. So the constraint equation comes in here, x, y, z equals 150. So finding the dimensions that minimize the cost of this box amounts to solving this system of equations right here. Okay, I'm going to solve this um, either in a separate video or maybe I'll just um, post a, uh, I think, a solution uh, of, of how to solve that um, on, a, on a, just a worked out on a sheet or something like that.